Hi, I'm Mark and welcome to this video on 10 different facts about magma blocks. Now magma blocks just came into Minecraft a short time ago, but they're very unique and they have a lot of properties that people don't know. They think they're just like any other block. So I've got some notes here I'm going to go through. See how much I care about you guys. I got notes and give you those 10 different facts so that you can uh, be a little more smart in your gameplay when using magma blocks. Now the first one is that you got to use a pickaxe in order to harvest these. Now let me show you. I got to go to my game mode one, otherwise it'll be really easy. Or game mode zero, I'm sorry, survival mode. And I can harvest these without a problem and I get the block. Now if you harvest them with something else, let's say we'll harvest these with diamond boots. Do, 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 do. We don't get the block. So make sure that you're harvesting with a pickaxe. Fact number one. Fact number two is you are going to get large veins of this, kind of like dirt. And you can see that's true here. This is a pretty sizable vein. If you are looking for more of the magma blocks, look for one or two and then dig around them because you're going to probably find more. Fact number three, you will find these at level 23 to level 37, which is right around the lava height. Now let's take a look at F3 and we will see that right now we are at 33. Is that between 23 and 37? Yes, it is. Now, number four, if you want to craft these yourself, you can, but there's a bit of a challenge to that. If we want to craft them, we need four magma creams. And that's a lot of magma creams if you're trying to get them the hard way from uh, magma cubes or magma blocks or lava cubes or lava blocks. But anyhow, those creatures that go boing, boing, boing through the nether, those are the ones you'll get these from. And that will give you a whole one magma block. So it hardly is worth it. Now you can craft the magma cream using other ingredients. All you need is blaze powder, which you get from crafting down blaze rods, which you have to get in the nether. But you can take that blaze powder, combine it with slime balls, and you will get magma cream. Now this is a much more efficient way to make them, but I guarantee that you are going to want to go to the nether and harvest these things. I've done it both ways and it's a lot quicker and easier to go looking for them in the nether than it is to craft them. So next up is uh, uh, the fact that these things can damage all living creatures, almost all. Uh, the ones that can avoid fire are the ones that uh, can typically can survive these. But almost all creatures will get damaged. Now that includes me. So if I jump up here you can see I start taking damage immediately. Now there are ways to prevent it. One thing I can do is crouch. All right. Now if I crouch I definitely don't take damage. Let's do that again here. I'm crouching. I don't take damage. So that's one method you can use to avoid it, but it's kind of hard to walk around when you're crouching all the time. Another thing you can do is put on your handy dandy frost walker boots. Hey, hey buddy, how come you have a creeper head? I don't know. Okay, so let's go up here with our frost walker boots and we're taking no damage at all. Another thing you can do, let's get these guys off, is we can drink a potion of fire resistance. Do 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 do. There we go. And we hop up here and we're taking no damage. You can also enchant your, uh, your boots with uh, some other enchantments that'll reduce the damage. But these are the best ways to like totally eliminate the damage. Let me drink some milk here so I don't have to continually see those particle effects. There we go. And the next one, which would be number uh, seven, is Crosswalker. Number eight is Crouching. Uh, number six is potions, so that's backwards. Six, seven, and eight have to do with how you cannot be hurt. Number nine is really, really interesting. Now, if you're not going to know any of the facts, it's going to be this one. Let me switch over to creative mode. Okay, so we can get here quickly. Let's go someplace dark. Dun, dun, dun. Dark, we need someplace dark. Okay, and let's lay down a couple of magma cubes here. Now watch what happens. We're going to hop up on these. All right. Now we pull up F3 and you can see that the current block level light is two. That's it. That's all the level these things are giving off. 
with two levels of light. Now, watch what happens. We take our torch and we lay it down right here. Now watch that light number. Now it's 13. Well, son of a gun, that's the torch, Mark. Watch what happens when I remove the torch. It's now 11. Interesting. They take a charge of light. And it typically, from what I've found, is that charge is two less than the current level. So like this was 13, you break the torch, you're going to end up with 11. Uh, so keep that in mind. You have to charge these puppies up before you're going to get the light you want to get. Definitely worth thinking about. And finally, water gets removed randomly. Okay, here we are in the overworld. And what I've done is created a little pad of magma blocks so you can see what happens when we pour water on them. Now, you're thinking one of two things is going to happen, right? It's going to go, pss, and then all the water is going to disappear immediately. Or the water is going to stay there forever, right? But magma blocks are unique in this fact. Let's pour some water here. We'll pour some here. We'll pour some. Hey, that one disappeared. That's odd. But these stayed. How strange. Let's put another one down. Now, watch carefully. Oh, did you see that? One little part of water disappeared. Oh, and there goes another one. Oh, and there goes one. And that's what is going to continue to happen until all the water burns off. Now, it's random, so you never know how fast it's going to happen, where it's going to happen, or anything like that. And that is a really unique property. Maybe you can put it to good use. And that's all 10 facts about magma blocks. Now, if you enjoyed this video, please leave a like, leave a comment, or best of all, share it. Or you could subscribe. Or if you didn't like this video, you could keep it to yourself. Thanks for watching.